Hey guys, over here from Free My Android. Uh, a little off topic. I uh, needed to rewire my subwoofers. I had a uh, loose terminal, so I thought I'd uh, strip out the old wires and add new ones since these are uh, quite old subwoofers. Um, probably around like 10 years old, but sound quality is awesome on these, so I don't really want to get rid of them yet. But uh, I want to do a video on how to wire um, two dual coiled uh, forum subwoofers and to achieve a forum load off your amplifier. I know a lot of people when they hook up subs and amps uh, a lot of the time they aren't matching so you won't get your uh, desired sound you won't get that nice clean bass with the nice uh, pounds with it. So um, well first of all um, I'm running a mono amp so I only have a single channel. Um, I, I like and I don't like like I said I like it because uh, it's a lot of uh, just pure uh, power from your subwoofer but you'd only use one hookup on the back for your subwoofer obviously since it's just a um, mono uh, amplifier but you can still do this if you have like a two channel amp you just bridge it on your amplifier uh, one of the positives and one of the negatives on the amplifier and then you'd uh, feed the wire into just one I'm um, not really sure what these are called but we're just calling them these and then uh, you would feed that up to one of the subwoofers negative there and then the same on the other side, but that's positive. And then on the second coil, this one would be opposite. So since this is negative, this would be positive. Same with the other side, that would be positive, and then that's uh, negative. And what you do is um, you have to run these coils in series, and you run the subwoofers in parallel. So you would take one positive and one negative, and um, just bridge those. It basically just cancels them out. And then for once and you have one of the one of the negatives you take and weld on or whatever how you want to do it. Sorry, my phone's ringing on me. All right, sorry about that. But um, so you take the other negative. Uh, I welded it. I didn't um get turned well. I just wanted that uh just in case one of them slipped off like it did. So um, weld that into the um, other pot or other negative on one side of the coils. Same with the positive. Take uh. Where's my second feed? Right here. And you pop while that or um, connect the terminal to the other uh, positives down there. And then the same thing, take uh, the opposite, negative, positive, and bridge those off. So basically once we do all that, and once you hook up your um, your amplifier, most amplifiers uh, are either two or four ohms. And like I said, if, they, if I hook this up normally, this would be a eight ohm load. But uh, since I did this, it um, put the impedance in half, and uh, now running at four ohms. So um, I mean, less ohms the better. If you could get down to one ohm, that's awesome. But you got to make sure you have an amplifier that handle one ohm load, and those are usually a little bit more expensive, probably like around like 400 bucks. So I'm going with a four ohm, but uh, it's a much cleaner sound rather than eight. Uh, lower you go, definitely that thicker bass, but. Um, it's really about it. I mean, like I said, this is kind of just a random thing. I want to do a quick video because I know a lot of people, uh, when they have systems, they just hook it up, crank that uh, gain, and that's really about it. But um, to really get what, I mean, it doesn't really matter if you have 12s, 15s, as long as you're matching your ohms that you're pushing out of your subs with the ohm load off your uh, amplifier combined with the right voltage that you're pushing out of your um, um, subwoofers onto your amp. If everything's matched, it'll sound super clean. It'll be loud. Um, just because it's bigger and more expensive doesn't mean that it will sound good. you got to wire correctly, tune it correctly. So um, I might do another video on how to actually tune your subwoofer or tune your amp using a uh, digital multimeter. Um, not sure if I have enough time, but... I'll be posting one of those soon, and if you have any uh, questions, just comment below, and uh, I'll try to help them out, but like I said, just research, pull up on um, some specs on your subwoofers, on your amplifiers, see what ohms, what wattage, everything, and just match them, and you'll have a clean sound system. Alright, thanks for watching, and subscribe.